all right um youtubers good morning again it's once again i'm here with another brand new tutorial and today i'll be guiding through how to install the ecado um, school management system 5.3 and remember um, i told you my upcoming tutorials and this is the one i've started um, with to start installing so you know it so um, i'm going to name my folder um with um a common name that i can use to um, I'll just make it um, Ekato 3, sorry, 5.3, Ekato 5.3, then I'll move this to my root folder. I'm in drive C, and I have um, ZAMP, ATC docs, then I'll paste it here, then it's moving it into my root folder. So it's done, I'll just select it, then I'm copy my 3.5, then open my browser then localhost I have um, 3.5 then I hit enter key <laughs> then my installation process is loading so we begin with step one of um, our installation process so here it's saying that one you need to provide um, a purchase code two you need to provide um, a database name uh, username password and hosting these are the things you need to provide for this software to be able to install so I hit on the next um, to start installation, but um, it has skipped all um, some of the things and then files that are supposed to be um, written to um, your database level, everything is okay, you have no problem with that. So I hit on the next button and then on my next button, then I'm required to enter my database name, username, password to proceed. And you see we have skipped um, the purchase code because um, the software has been nulled already so um there's no need for us to enter the username uh, sorry the purchase code for this software so if you are getting the software from me for educational purpose you know very well that it has already been nulled so you don't need um purchase code to be able to install this software on your system so i'll provide a database name which i'm supposed to create one so as we always do i'll still use the same folder name to create a database so database and to create a database so remember what i told you i always use um the root folder name and the database name so that um if if i'm checking for my applications and my database i know this particular database this is going to be um the project folder name um, which is also matching it as well so that i can keep track of my applications that i installed on my system so in case i want to remove an application at any time i know which database to also remove alongside with it so that is why i always try to keep the database name and my project folder name the same way so now we have database name which is uh, my project folder name i'll paste it there because i had already copied it. then um my database username is root with no password then my host is local host then i'll move next and then it moves me to step four which is um installing the database then i said okay hit on the install button and then everything will be installed so important database so at this point you are supposed to relax get yourself a cup of coffee and whilst installation process is going on you can be sipping your coffee uh, but it's trying to rain here in ghana and then the wind is blowing so heavy outside and then it has started drizzling a little bit so if you're hearing um, drops of rain in this video you know very well that it's raining outside whilst i'm in the room and there's fresh air coming in i hope you are here to enjoy the fresh air with me <laughs> all right so let's wait on until this database finish importing and then we'll get back to our tutorial so i'll pause here and then when it is done then i'll come back to continue with it all right so um we are done with the installation and it's saying congratulations the installation was successfully and we are expected to provide our school name um our login details so that we can log into this software so you provide um your school name which is um the virus school which i've just selected um and um admin name is um uriah avenash and then um the email address i'll be using to log in is um Avinash at Gmail and then my password which is um, um, on my system now those of you who have been receiving some tutorials from me always remember that I use a universal um, um, login details if it is an email that is required for login I used Avinash at gmail.com 
if it's only a username that is required i use them avanash as the login and the password is the same which cut across all my tutorials and the password is pandic 006 and the pandic is p a n d i t 006 pandic 006 p a n d i t 006 that is the password that cut across all my tutorials so if you receive um an application from me um and you're able to set it up remember that the login if it is um, an email address that is required to log in remember it's avanash at gmail.com if it is a username it's only avanash but remember the password is pandic 006 so i set it up by hitting on the setup and um, button here and then boom our software is done so they are saying that your login is what avanash and then the password is what as you have chosen i said okay no problem i know that one so I hit on the login button and then my software is ready for me to use so I'll select um, Avanash at Gmail and then it loads the password because I've already saved the username and the password in the system because I'm doing tutorials and that is my default username and password so I don't like typing it all the time so uh, save the username and the password so anytime I select the username it loads the password automatically because it's my local machine so nothing happens so I hit on the login button and then my software is logged in and i'm done with um, installing this software um, so you can see it it's a nice software that is their latest second but latest version three point um sorry 5.3 and i believe very soon i'll be coming up with a 5.4 for you on your screen so stay tuned and then always 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 subscribe to the channel and if you're already subscribed then i need you to do a campaign by getting people to subscribe so get two people and tell those two people to get another two people to subscribe to the channel and that is how the chain keeps on growing so that is a chain for you to follow to make sure that this channel gets to its limit so i hope by the ending of this year i will be able to hit the 1000 subscribers that i need from you so let's all work hard but please do leave comments and do like the videos and share because of you i'm here so anything you want to learn kindly ask and then if it is within my power i will make sure that i'll do it for you and then we have nothing to worry about so stay tuned for the time being i will sign off from this tutorial and then watch out for my next upcoming tutorial on your screen so stay blessed